N. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks, and it's a long weekend. Let's make it a great one. Surrender. Let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 108, NASDAQ up 20, SP's up 10, gold contract down $1.60, trading at $12.83 an ounce. You got silver down six cents, $14.55 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 76 cents, $58.66 a barrel. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year note, down eight ticks, 124.30, 30-year bond off 11, 151.03. Both notes and bonds, folks, they broke topside yesterday. Pulling back today, light volume. They want higher price, lower yield. King dollar, king dollar down 278 ticks, trading 97,445. King dollar tested its high yesterday, rejected it, coming off the high today, and it's interesting with king dollar, you actually uh, do have a little volume uh, for a holiday, uh, kicking into a holiday out here. The euro is tra trading at 112.08 to 1 US dollar. The yen is at 109.33, and the pound is at 127.15. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so S&Ps out here, folks, they are building cars for a... ABC structure down. The B point out here is the low that was established out here on the 13th of May. That number is 279.99, um, 93 rather. Uh, that volume characteristic out there, we have 127 million shares, and I suspect what we're going to see out here, you'll build cars for a couple days, uh, go after that uh, baby once again. Yesterday what we did, we go downtown with 98 million shares, you're bouncing out here with 37 million. If you're, if you're a bull in this market, and, uh, that's what you don't want to see. What you would rather see is that we, we would, if we had tested the lows of yesterday, today, with lighter volume, then you'd have a shot to basically try to get to the highs once again. But the way this is set up, you get the bounce going, you get light volume. This is building cars. My take on a larger basis, we're building cars to get down to that December 26th swing point. That's, it looks to me like we're in this monster consolidation. We go take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs, same type of setup. Uh, three Qs, uh, what the three Qs had done, I believe the three Qs broke the 178.06. Let me just see. Yeah, we broke, on the three Qs, you broke the B point. You know, we did, we did that, not an ABC down, because we, brought, we did 45 million shares versus 67 million. That being said, what has happened is that now you bounced with light volume, so it has another shot of going after it once again, and we'll see how that shakes out. Uh, IWM, IWM broke it, had monster volume, uh, but not as big as it needed for confirmation of an ABC down. Uh, that B point on the, on the small caps is 26.9 26 mil, 26 million. We did 26.3. Uh, that being said, guess what? You're bouncing out here with um, 10 million shares. That is setting up also the run down into this uh, December 24th level. If you, if you do take a look at the small caps, what you're going to see, the differential in the small caps also, is that when we bounced from December 24th, um, it never got up to its highs. The highs on the small caps are August of 18. Uh, so that characteristic, uh, number one, I suspect we'll, the small caps want to run back down to this 125 area. If we take this and we put this on a longer term basis, uh, what I suspect, what, what held it up the first time was all the trading that had been done from the, going from 2014 over to 2016. That's where we had broken topside from. And so it totally makes sense that first leg down, that can hold you up. Second leg down, we'll see where that shakes out. Uh, see where it wants to get back inside that lower trading range. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold caught a bid yesterday, had the, had the price, had the volume. Um, you know, we're at... Uh, 1283 right now and if we take this 
me put this on a weekly for a second. Yeah, on a weekly, it's going to be cool, too. So on a weekly, what you have out here is that you get a rejection of these lower swing points. You get a slightly higher uh, gold market. Bottom line, we still need a, an additional sign of strength. You get a sign of strength that came off that low. When we tested the last swing point, you want to see an additional sign of strength. Notes and bonds, bottom line is that uh, they not only want higher price, it looks to me like they want tremendously higher price. This is, I, what happens in the note and bond market in particular, folks, is this. You build cause for a long period of time, right? And then once it really starts moving, it moves like fast and furious. And we've been building cause now for almost four months. You know, you had, you had a big spike in the bond market uh, going back to January. Is that, uh, yeah, January, it's, not, it's longer than that then. Big spike in January, we had an additional spike in March, and now it blew that away. We take this and we put this on a continuous contract. What you're gonna see here on a continuous contract is that you just launched the consolidation that it's been in. There's a higher consolidation above it, and that's where it looks to me like that's where we're going. The, the top of that, the higher consolidation goes out to 159. Right now you're at 150. 104, and this is a confirmed ABC structure on the way up when we take a look at this 30-year. Uh, 30-year bond uh, out here, took out the B point, took it out with volume. Your A point on this is uh, approximately 146. Your B is up there at uh, the 150 and a half, so you get about four and a half points, which is gonna get you into, uh, let's see, that gets you into about the one, that's 149, yeah, 153. About 153 and a half. You get to 153 and a half, guess what? You're going you're gonna to go um, up into that 155 level. And uh, we'll see uh, how that shakes out from there. Note, uh, well, here, let's go take a look at the euro. So the euro, as the dollar failed yesterday at the highs, the euro took off from its lows. The euro got down, the euro, you're going to remember something, is 60% of the dollar index. The euro went from 11107 we're at 11208 right now. That 11107 was the low yesterday, 11208. And what the euro is very close to doing, you need one more big day in the euro. And what you'll see here is that the euro would have broken its downtrend all the way back from January 10th. So you break that downtrend, guess what? The euro would be at 115, dollar would be at 94. Come right back.